It's now time to look at the headlines on the front pages of Nigerian newspapers. Uh, I have here with me the nation, and the big story here says uh, Council of State Governors pass confidence vote in Tinubu. Ex leaders praise Nigerians for rejecting illegal change of government. NSA ministers brave leaders on economy. Another story here says the federal government will lose 188 points. 37 billion naira to suspension of duty on food imports. On the student loan, uh, six versities received 2.026 billion naira as tuition. Um, a feature story here says uh, why Okpebolo will win a do governorship poll by Oshomale. Others. RMFAC releases what uh, Senator Stakeum, uh, CGN, to earn 64 million naira. Annually. Another story here uh, on uh, the, the top corner says uh, Yaba Psychiatric Hospital seeks support for abandoned patients. Government targets telecom sector to boost economy, says Edun. Mm -hmm. Some stories on the front page of uh, the nation this morning to the first news still on uh, the Council of State meeting. Uh, Gawan Abdul Salami, Jonathan Buhari unite in vote of confidence. Obasanjo IBB absent as council labels hashtag and bad governance protest attempted uh, regime change. Catholic bishops to President Tinubu rescue Nigerians from crushing multidimensional poverty. Um, another story here says uh, Tinubu approves uh, judicial offices 300% pay rise. President Tinubu approves policy also to address health workforce migration. That's on the Jagba syndrome. Prof. Barra lawmakers confirm five commissioners designates. Banks protest excessive 70% FX windfall tax. Sustained onslaught against crude oil theft carry urges the military. And a start story here says accident on Ibadan Lagos Expressway. Claims 16 lives, injures 17. Some stories on the front page of uh, the first news uh, to the salient times. Buhari Jonathan in OBJ absent as Tinubu holds first Council of State meeting. And a uh, picture story here shows uh, President Bola Ahmed Tinubu with uh, the former President Mohamed Buhari and others at the National Council of State meeting in Abuja yesterday. Uh, Senator Olamileko Adiola Yayi <coughs> unveiling 14 months of unprecedented achievements impacting on people's lives. Uh, President Bola Tinubu approves policy to retain health workers in Nigeria. To Ogun states on alleged land grabbing. Ogun Assembly recommends suspension, prosecution of monarch. Some stories on the front page of uh, the Salient Times to Nigerian News Directs. Still on the Council of State meeting. That's the big story here. Jonathan Bohari, Nigerian Governors Forum, orders past vote of confidence on Tinubu amidst economic downturn. Council of State once against insurrection, supports democratic process. Finance Minister <coughs> presents updates on economy, highlights progress on the President Tinubu. Do not use Labour Party to promote insurrection, destabilize democracy. Abure wants the NLC president, Ajero. Uh, Waeka grilled over six billion naira deficit, five billion naira loan for calculators. Uh, another story here says uh, Lagos boosts IGR by 70% in five years, targets higher revenue growth. Equities market suffers 279 billion naira loss. 70% of windfall tax, the detrimental to financial stability, growth of banks. Bank directors won. CBN reintroduced publication of key economic reports. Some stories on the front page of Nigeria News Direct to the Blueprint. Council of States once again passes confidence votes. President Tinubu, Gawan Abdul Salami, Jonathan endorsed President Tinubu's reforms, describe recent protests as attempted regime change.
President Tinubu to embark on a three-day visit to Equatorial Guinea today. Um, another story here says uh, for unremitted 4.1 trillion naira, Senate sustains queries against NUPRC, NIS, police, others. Revisit 2019 audit reports. 7,000 uh, children enroll into non-formal schools in the Northeast. Some stories on the front page of uh, the Blueprint. To the Daily Times, court extends order restricting Abuja protesters to national stadium. Monkeypox declared a public health emergency in Africa. NYC cancels 101 certificate issued to Unical graduates. IOCs, LOCs meet evasion ministry officials agent over a helicopter landing levers. Another story uh, says uh, Senate Knox NNPCL FIRS plays over refusal to respond to queries. Bank directors call for windfall tax review amid concerns over service impacts. Some stories on the front page of the Daily Times to the Daily Independence. Go on, Abdul Salami Jonathan Buhari decry protest regime change. Pass a vote of confidence in Tinubu at Council of State meeting. NSA reassures nobody will truncate had earned democracy. Wait till 2027 election. Federal government tells President Tinubu's opposition. A Feniferi decries call for military coup six support for democracy. President Tinubu signs bill increase in salaries of judicial officers by 300%. There is suspension on food import to cost to Nigeria 188 billion, according to the Nigerian Customs Service. Again, stakeholders urge upward review of tariff for telco survivals. A sector in intensive care unit stage over 1,000 fiber court recorded monthly quality of service tied to government policies. Court extends order restricting Abuja protesters to MQ Stadium. Kerry urges military to sustain onslaught against crude oil theft, says NMPC Limited, witnessing improved growth in crude production. We have not fixed petrol price, that's according to Dangote. And uh, the FAA had to take delivery of equipment to combat bed strikes <coughs> at airports. Some stories on the front page of the Daily Independent. Uh, on uh, the New Telegraph this morning, uh, Abbas and Dry BB absent as Council of State passes vote of confidence in President Tinubu condemns hunger protest, gets updates from ministers. Court extends order restricting Abuja protesters to National Stadium. Catholic bishops to President uh, feel subsidy policy revision not a sign of weakness. A senator earns 1.1 million RM monthly. That's according to the RM uh, AFC. Africa citizen declares monkeypox public health emergency. Undo uh, Pale Court Ray states her ex deputy speaker, uh, Ukujubo led the Rivers Assembly, also screens and confirms uh, five commissioner Namines. Uh, some stories on the front page of the New Telegraph. All right, this Nigeria says protest was plot to topple Tenumbu, ex president declare. Buhari Jonathan Abdul Salami go one rally behind current administration. Abbas Sanjay Babangida absent at the Council of State meeting. Stakeholders urges, uh, urge tax waivers for manufacturing sector. Yaba Psychiatric Hospital seeks help for abandoned indigent patients. President signs 300% pay rise bill. For judicial officers, yearning of officers met, says AGF. I will move to the leadership newspaper. It says here, yeah, judges others get pay rise in likely judicial reforms. Tunubu case 300% salary increase for judicial workers. Lawyers heal new pay package. It's a significant milestone, says Senator Ladu. Council of State rejects regime change through unconstitutional means. Nigerian senator earns 1.1 million as monthly salary, says RMAFC. Federal government forfeits 188.37 billion naira to removal of duties on food. 
Catholic bishops demand harsh policies reversal. Free dyes flood ravages Belchi community. Bank directors ask National Assembly to revisit 70% windfall tax. This and many more in this Nigeria newspaper this morning, or rather, leadership newspaper this morning. The Nigerian Tribune is saying constitution review. Reps move to reduce cost of elections, push for conduct of all elections in one day. Finance Minister leads strategic meeting on NNPCL crude sales in Naira. LG Autonomy, Osho Assembly passes amendment bills. Nigeria's large growing out-of-school population has huge consequences, says UNICEF. Police personnel to now write promotion exams. Council of State meeting, Abbasan Jabangida absent as Gowan Buhari Jonathan Abdusalami pass vote of confidence in Tunumbu. Lagos Ibadan Expressway accident, 16 killed, 17 injured in Ibadan. 12 burnt to death in Ogiri. Six children lose parents. Ibadan resident lament incident accident at same spot. Call on federal government to speed up work on Lagos Ibadan Expressway. The Punch newspaper says federal government blocks 83 billion naira protest funds, arrest political collaborators. Government uncovers $50 million crypto funds, uh, block, blocks for digital wallets containing $38 million. Please to declare foreign agents wanted, traces $4 billion naira to Kano, Abuja, Katina, political bigwigs. EFCC donate $50 billion naira crime proceeds to NEL fund. NNPCL postpones Port Harcourt refinery kicks a uh, kickoff sixth time. 4.2 trillion naira foreign MOU signed under Tinumbu says report. Federal government unveils plans to bring back 12,400 jackpot doctors. 109 senators earn 1.4 billion naira annually. Daily News Hub tragedy in Ibadan: 16 killed, 17 injured as trailer crushes vehicles. Council of State passes vote of confidence in Tinumbu. Stop patronizing the Kada riders. Tax force tells Lagos residents, I'm not on ICPC's watch list. Our honor invitation today says Jimmy Lawal. Let's move now to the business times. It says telecoms. Why tariff hike is an absolute necessity, says MTN CEO. Says Nigeria's telecom sector in an intensive care unit need urgent rescue to prevent collapse. Reconsider windfall tax. BDA and Ox Federal Government describes levy as excessively burdensome ill-timed. National clean cooking uh, policy implementation will generate millions of jobs, says Minister. IOCs, LOCs meet aviation ministry officials, agents over helicopter landing uh, levies. Traffic removal, tariff removal, customs to forego 188 billion naira import duty. This and more in the Business Times newspaper. Moving now to the Platform Times it says here, yeah, NNPCL uncovers 63 illegal refineries in uh, 19 pipeline connections in one week. Women protest half-naked in Ondo over killings, kidnappings of farmers. Lagos Ogo partner to end open defecation. Government targets 10 million hectares to boost food production. Says custom boss, and uh, Nigeria police arrest four suspected notorious mo motorcycle thieves. Moving now to Nature News, Nigerians urge federal government to declare National Day of Tree Planting. As according to Nature News poll, federal government launches 10-year action plan on elephant poaching, wildlife crimes. Finally, it's um, sporting life. Fulham squad numbers. It will be, it will be picks number 17 jersey. Bassey retains number 3. Lookman excited by Super Cup clash. Atalanta outs. To prove themselves against Real Madrid, Osimhen escapes Napoli wrath after Nigeria clashed with fan. Uh, Society demanded 26 billion naira plus salon clause for Sadiq. We have this and many more stories in the Sporting Life newspaper this morning. All right, uh, I'm sure viewers have been briefed on uh, the major stories making uh, the front pages of the newspapers this.